Esso. It is with great pleasure I, for the interests which you have taken in partnering with us in Edo State to fulfill our mandate under the Edo State Oil Palm Production Program, which is aimed at boosting agricultural production in Edo State. As was pointed out by the Protem Chairman of the ESOP Investors Group, this journey started a while ago. And while the journey has been torturous, I mean, has been long coming, we believe that today will mark another phase in the process where the LOTs can finally proceed to taking over physical possession of the land which has been alloc allocated, allocated to them for oil palm production. What we are doing today is part of a process which started a while ago. The process first involved identifying a large piece, large piece of degraded forest land. These are all forest assets which were owned by those states that have been badly degraded and will not sustain uh, the kind of forest reserves that used to be there. We did, an enumerate, we did a forest audit to identify these pieces of land. We did an enumeration and we did a survey. Uh, this exercise today which involves the signing of about 45,000 hectares of land to about seven, or, I mean seven companies for the purpose of cultivating palm oil will hopefully make a do state one of the largest, if not the largest, all palm producing states in Nigeria. Like I said, this is the first phase. There is a second phase which we hope will be concluded this year, which will be, will, which will be for about the same size of land, if not slightly more. This program, the of the Do State Oil Palm Production Program will involve everybody, particularly the local communities. We will proceed to the next phase of undertaking community sensitization. All the communities that border the areas that have been allotted will be sensitized and will be made to participate in this program. This program has been designed such that the smallholders, smallholder farmers are already included in this process and these smallholder farmers will come from the community. Buffer zones have also been demarcated which will allow people who currently are farming around the areas to continue with their farming. The process of reservation is ongoing. It's part of the new forestry law, which we are currently reviewing. You will be invited to participate next week in the process of reviewing the new forestry law, um, which will automatically uh, reserve these areas for just for the purpose of, um, of fulfilling all the processes and with that process of de-reservation de uh, we will have finished all the administrative hurdles um, relating to your ability to your being able to use this land, the land being allocated to you 
as you are aware, we have already issued certificates of occupancy to each and every allottee. So the title to the land belongs to you. That brings me to the issue of security in the communities that we have been allocated land to. We have received reports of some youths in some of these communities who have gone into some of these farms to begin to lay claim to government reserve land which has been allocated for this purpose. I'm using this as an opportunity to warn all such groups, whether they come in the names of CDAs or whatever they are called, that they have been prohibited from getting involved or participating in any matters that relate to government land and will be dealt with according to the law. The Community Action Program has already taken in the interests of the communities and the lawful youths within those communities. They will be engaged and will participate in this program with the investors. So any group of people who bandy themselves as what, in, under whatever name who come across or come into your farms to disturb you, please let us know. We're putting in place a special security arrangement and we're having special courts to try these persons. At the end of this program, where the state will have cultivated over 100,000 hectares of all farmland, we will be providing in excess of 200,000 jobs at a minimum. <laughs> it will make Edo states very competitive in, in the all palm production business. As, as you may know, all palm is the most prolific edible fat in the world today. Imports crude palm oil from Asian countries. Uh, so, for us in Edo States, we are pioneering the process of ensuring that Nigeria becomes self sufficient in the not distant future in production of oil palm. I want to I want to commend the investors who we have signed with today for their patience. We know that this process has taken much longer than we anticipated, but we have been very, very deliberate to make sure that we go through all the processes you require according to international best practices. We don't want any of you to cultivate palm oil in a dose state that will not be accepted in the international or in the international markets. That is why we have ensured that we have been part of the uh, global oil palm program, um, the RSPO, such that all palm that is cultivated in a dose goes through the RSPO process, that is, you know, responsible um, oil palm production, uh, production process. We have also ensured that the community action plan is consistent with what is expected. That's why we will go beyond taking the community sensitization and to also ensure that the free and prior consent required to cultivate all palm is also adhered to in Edo State. With all of the steps we have taken, you will now proceed to enjoy your investment in Edo. As a government, we will continue to create that enabling environment 
for your product for your investments to yield the required returns there's still the areas where we will work with you to provide infrastructure um, such as access roads uh, the bulk of the allocations we're given today are within the Uriomo and Onwa axis and um, I'm pleased to inform you that the main artery leading into your farms, the Benin Abraka Road, has been awarded and construction will commence immediately. <laughs> we are going to be um, we are going to be stepping up the activities of the ESOP office. I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for supporting the Edo State Oil Palm Production Process Office, um, which is a specialized office in the, you know, in the governor's office that will be focused on this program. I want to thank you for the support you have given. We will require a lot more support. Um, as you know, this is quite a technical um, uh, technical product. Uh, we will we are going through a learning process together, and we will count on you to continue to support government with capacity, with the technical expertise they need to ensure that to all of us. Um, let me end this event of the signing of the MOU by congratulating all of you investors who we now see as partners to our government in Edo State. We appreciate that a lot of your resources will be committed to this process. We also want to use this opportunity to thank the Central Bank of Nigeria who's been supporting agricultural development in Nigeria, particularly the oil power. And to assure you that the almost 100 billion naira that you will be spending on these investments will be one that we as a government in Edo State will make sure is secure and yields for you the required returns. And trusting that giving your you will all be responsible investors who will ensure that you carry the communities along and as much as possible you undertake your corporate social responsibility to the community.